I'm here with my mom, Hi. Elena. Today we're at our cooking school in Montreal uh, called Mezzaluna. The cooking school's been operating now for 20 years. We're gonna prepare a dish, yeah. uh, a dish that we like a lot, a dish that my mom used to make a lot when I was living at home and that I still make a lot today. So we're making something that's really quick, tasty and classic in Italian cooking, yeah. which is a classic puttanesca. It's like tomato based with anchovies, some capers, hot peppers, garlic, some parsley, black olives. This is a great recipe. It's gonna make a great meal any night of the week Anything. for your whole family, all right? Trust me. First thing you wanna do is get a huge amount of olive oil. Yeah. We're talking about, what, how would you, half oh, a cup? Oh, I'd say half a cup, oh yeah, easy, Half a easy. cup of olive oil. Easy. So you wanna heat that up, add your anchovies, and then you wanna work your anchovies with a fork until they become, uh, until they disintegrate actually, they become yeah. kinda like a puree. So once that's done, we could raise the heat a little bit. We're gonna add some chopped garlic yep. to the pan Voila. and some chopped hot peppers. Now, we're already seeing that this recipe doesn't take much time to make and the most, uh, the longest part of this recipe is really prepping all your ingredients. So once everything's chopped, I mean, nine minutes, the sauce is done. That's so, it. a handful of capers. That's it, don't put the others, you have too much. Capers go in okay. here and the, the black olives. olives. So a handful of chopped black olives. Right, and the tomatoes. Okay, that's it. So once that is cooking, okay, a little bit, we add some chopped Par fresh parsley. And that's it. And you wanna add Italian parsley, okay? Because yeah. that's where all the flavor is. Now, this is the pasta. We're doing a spaghetti alla guitarra type of pasta, which is a square spaghetti. And we're gonna put them in the water. Just the love of cooking comes from her. Uh, obviously, we don't see eye to eye all the time, but that's totally but that's okay. normal and that's okay. He cooks a lot with his daughter, and his daughter is always after him, and we see the third generation, like I see my, my granddaughter, loves to cook, you know? Coming out, yeah. I'm putting it in the <laughs> frying pan. I never saw this in Italy, but a lot of times I see it here when they put the spaghettis or the pasta in the bowl and then they put this sauce on the top, which I, I, it's not the right way. It's the, the spaghettis, the pasta go into the sauce, not the sauce on top of the pasta. That gets Eleanor very pick. angry. Yeah. Since it's um, an anchovy based sauce, we usually don't add Parmesan cheese to this, okay? Because of all the flavors and usually, you know, I don't know, there's just like this hidden rule in Italian cooking that says, when you have seafood, you don't add Parmesan cheese on your pasta dish, right? Voila! Look at this. This, this is a nice mm. recipe. And this is what we used to do with my friends when we were young. Yeah, you, like, you don't even serve it in the my, dish here, no, guys. You know what I mean? No, we used to eat just grab a fork and... from the, the frying pan. Mmm. That's good. I can have this. Me then. So here you have it, puttanesca, simple, quick, classic recipe. You should have all the ingredients at home, okay? Enjoy it with friends and family, right? Family, a lot of family. Thanks, ma. You're welcome.